So in ZBrush, the Y axis is up and down, the X axis is left and right, and the Z axis is forwards and backwards or depth. Here I have a tool, which is composed of two different sub tools, a knot and a rope, sorry, a bar and a, <laughs> a bar and a knot. Um, and you can see, if we wanna see the floor on this and see where that is, we can press shift P or hit this icon here and it'll actually turn on the floor. And you see that the floor automatically goes to the base of the tallest object in our scene. So even though I have the other, the bar selected, for example, the floor will always stay here at the base of the rope. If I was to press W and turn on transpose all, so we move all of the sub tools, you'll see when I let go, the floor will hop to still wherever the base of the tallest object was in our scene. You probably also notice that there's two icons here indicating direction. So if I hide the rope for a second, I'll press Q to hide the gizmo. You can see that we have two different indicators here. So this one is for the sub tool. Uh, it's actually for the whole tool because it's whichever sub tool that you have, uh, which is the longest one. So even though I have the other one hidden, it still knows that there is a, a tool in here, which is longer than that. And this is the base of it. So if you ever see this and it's not at the base of your current selected tool, you know that you have another sub tool hidden somewhere and it's taller than the one that you currently have. As for this one here, this one is your 000 world space in any other 3D app. This is the one that you commonly know. Um, so if I turn the rope back on again, you can see that as long as this floor is on, if I go down to my modified topology and I turn on my Y axis, this will default to this. I can turn off the X and hit the Y here. And then I hit mirror and weld. Uh, it's going to tell me that, you know, the floor isn't set to zero. Are you sure you want to do this? So I'm going to say no to that. And just to explain exactly what that means, if we go up to here in the draw menu, you can see that the elevation slider is set to minus one. And what that's telling us is that whatever the tallest part of your sub tool is, when it's set to minus one, go down to the base of your tool and always be there. So as I move this, as we said, the base will always go to negative one of the, the height of your model, from the center of your model, basically. So if I was to change this, for example, to zero and press enter, now that's going to hop to the world space. So now it's, it doesn't really matter where I move my sub tool, it's going to hop to world space. And that's the floor that we'd always see. The reason it sets is minus one in the first place is that more than likely when you're modeling a character or something like that, you'd like to see their feet in the floor. So whatever is the tallest object, you're going to see the feet in the floor. And that makes sense even if you move the character around. It's a little bit dangerous though, because you're not going to be mirroring stuff where you expect to mirror it. So for example, if I was to select this sub tool here, I'll turn off this mode here. I'll go press Q to go back into normal sculpting mode. If I was to select this sub tool and I have the floor turned on and I hit mirror and weld on the Y axis, it can be tempting to assume that it's going to mirror and weld it from wherever the floor is. That's not the case though. Um, so if I do this, it's telling me, actually, this isn't the place I'm going to mirror from. I'm going to mir be mirroring it from the center of the world, zero, zero, zero. So are you sure you want to do this? If I say yes, it's going to mirror it from this point and we're going to get that mirrored on, from that point and the floor will still remain at the base of wherever the model is. So if I just undo that, if we go to the draw menu and we set this to zero, you'll see that this is now an accurate representation of what's actually going to be mirrored. So when I hit mirror and weld, it's going to mirror and weld as you would expect it to. If I undo that, and we move our, our sub tools, I hit mirror and weld, it's still going to be an accurate representation of what you'd expect. So that's all that actually is. If I turn this off and we go back to zero one or to minus one rather, negative one, <laughs> um, and I hit mirror and weld, you'll see it's going to give us that message. If I turn off the floor, however, by hitting shift P or hitting this icon, and I try and do this mirror and weld, it's not going to give that give us that message. It's just going to mirror and weld from the center of the world. So that's all. It's, it's always going to work. You'll never get that message. And no matter where your sub tools were, you'll never get that message. It's just going to keep on mirroring it for you. So basically, you'll only get that message when you have the floor turned on. And it's because when the, with the floor turned on, it can be deceptive to think, well, actually, that's where I'm going to be mirroring from. So as a general rule, you're better off setting this to zero and that will give you a true reflection of where your mirroring is going to happen um, if you have, ever do decide to mirror and weld on the Y axis. You don't get this for the X axis or the Z axis, it's only on the Y. So as usual, hope this tip helps and don't forget to do the usual, click subscribe, notifications, bell icon, all that YouTube stuff. All right, cheers, bye.